About got it smoothed out in there, don't you, big old boy? Good morning, everybody. Jason Hollis Farms. Well, we had a lot of wild hog action last night. Mitt had something he had to do right at daylight this morning for a little bit. So I said, I'm going to come down here and I'm sitting on the stump. And deer hunt a little while. I think I've seen 11 so far. Anything we had, anyway, we had a crazy something happen on this trap over here with two hogs. We got a monster down there in our trap. So, I'm going to sit here for just a few more minutes see if I can see any more deer I've seen one buck right when I got here not sure exactly what he was a few does and lidlands I can see the hog trap from here I'm fixing to uh, go over there here in just a minute and take care of them hogs and uh, then we'll be ready to take care of them and he's on to our place and we got a big one down there. Big, nasty. He was tough, too, but monster hog. But I'm going to sit here. It's pretty interesting, right? It's nice going somewhere and seeing a new tree, new woods. Kind of don't know what to expect. There ain't been no cameras or nothing out here except for the hog camera. So I'm going to hang out just a little bit more. And then we'll start working on hogs. All right, y'all, here we are back over at Mitt's with these two old squirrely hogs we've been watching. There's one that always goes right to the center of the pile, and his buddy just kind of stays out on the edge and just won't act right. And then forever he gets right behind him, and I just can't see exactly where his head is sometimes so i wait and wait and wait and these things and y'all remember we moved most of this corn the pile closer to the camera so closer to us because normally when you drop they go straight out the back side or left or right instead of towards the camera so this catch here is pretty interesting something that hadn't quite ever happened before but it was bound to happen especially when you get two lightning fast hogs like these two are but you can see back there you can kind of tell which direction he's pointed but you just it's hard to take a chance because no more than it is over there, you sure don't want to miss any and then he's he's just always got it in reverse like he's just trying to leave Oh, he may mash the clutch in and roll on towards the corn, but he can he's still in reverse and may may uh let out and leave at any moment. So this goes on for a, <coughs> excuse me, a pretty long time till I just kind of get tired of watching him and then he gets in there gets in there pretty good and then he leaves old crazy joker. He's a nervous nervous thing and a lot of these hogs are they just the one's gotten comfortable there but that other one, he just ain't super comfortable that one sure is getting him a belly full, full though he don't hardly ever pick his head up we bound to be getting close to drop time let's see where we at they all pretty much right up there in the middle now or right in the middle of the pile of corn Drop time should be coming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Y'all watch. This ain't never happened to me before. Watch the front hog. Oh. I thought he was going to get out. And actually, both hogs got under the trap when it dropped. And the other one rooted backwards. And then this one just kind of hung up there right there on his quarter. All right, 
so this is the first time I've ever had this happen on a bigger hog. I have smashed a little hog before, but this dude just about got out. Actually, the trap landed on both of them. These things are fast. Hadn't, hadn't backed up and stayed in there. And then this one almost got out. All right, so we got the hogs taken care of. Saw a few deer. Mitt's on his way. Said he's hooking to the range. He'll be here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna ease on back to the truck. Boy, it's pretty in here. What are you doing? CJ running around a minute. All right, y'all, I made it down. We are headed in after this big old hog. I don't know if it's a monster yet or not. It's either going to be a big one or a monster. So we'll see when we get in here. Alright y'all, here we go. We over at our trap now. Y'all see that sneaky joker back there in the back? This looks to be a pretty good size hog. He's, he's been in there a few nights where I got his picture, but it was late at night or I was in the middle of something and didn't get to see him or something. But he's been pretty regular, regular coming. But he is definitely not just walking up there in the middle and giving us opportunity to drop it real quick. I got to be patient on this one because I don't want to miss him. He just in and out, y'all see. And then he, he comes back in and he just always looking and they so doggone fast. And if your service is just a little slow dropping, he could, before it told it to drop, he could be out of there. So I had to be careful. See, he's always looking. I don't know what he's hearing or seeing winds up what i don't know what's going on but he is uh definitely <laughs> he is definitely not relaxed but he is super hungry and uh wanting that corn right now for sure i pop it up here and i'm gonna drop it and i just something told me not to and i said no and then he got i just i, I might have missed him so I just uh, waited and kept waiting and watching. But he just, uh, <laughs> I'd say they always in reverse when they like this. It's hard to catch them like this. You just have to, have to wait and settle and hope everything goes right when they get like this. He's probably seen that thing drop before or been around it or something but that corn something they like it and he's been there like i said a few nights but boy just out again you just he's very very spooky like an old book or something i just keep watching i stayed up late with this hog fooling with him watching him go in and out and then get settled in there and then i finally decide i'm ready to go to sleep i'm finna drop this thing and buddy he just about made it out but he didn't so i would say he's waiting but he is not waiting just super patiently he ain't liking that thing one bit but we waited around and got him. He ain't a monster, but he's big. He ain't big enough. About got it smoothed out in there, don't you, big old boy? He 
Gonna be pretty good size now, ain't bad. Alright, so he ain't a monster. He's a big hog. Let's see if we can get him in here. hook and the winch. Big hog. Right there went pretty good. Slid his old big self right up in the back of the right. He was waiting patiently. One more begging out of the way. That's a good day. Three hogs. Almost lost one or two of them. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse, still on the word darkness. Psalm chapter 91, verse 6, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. All right, y'all, had a good day today. Had a fun little hunt this morning, sitting on a stump, seeing some new trees and new deer at Mitt's place. Two hogs out of the way there, and a big hog over at our place. Anyway, I'm about to have to call it a day on this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.